Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, thank you for the feedback on Instagram about this. Uh, you guys definitely showed you wanted to see this and I'm happy because I've been wanting to make this for a while as well. All right, so this is gonna be based off of what I would take during a day hike. Um, I got a day pack here. Uh, I wanna quickly go over the bag, but uh, we're gonna go in depth in a minute. But yeah, this is what I would take during a couple hour hike, a uh, quick photography trip during the day, or maybe, you know, almost all day. All right, this is my Low Pro Pro Rover, uh, 35 liter. Uh, this is everything you would want in a camping bag, just condensed. I can't recommend it enough. It's a shame they quit making it though. Um, but yeah, awesome bag here. So uh, right here you have two slots for uh, trekking poles, which is very convenient. I haven't used them yet, but hey, they're there. Yeah, you got this nice stretchy front pocket here. Um, I usually put like you know, maps, quick access stuff in there. Underneath we have, which I really like, is we have a, a tent strap. So you can put your tent in here, strap it up. Uh, a lot, not a lot of bags have that anymore. Um, and below we have a nice compartment for the um, uh, the weather cover for rain, snow. Keep that stuff off the bag. Uh, coming around, we have uh, a water bladder holder. I really like it because it's external of the internal bag. Uh, it's separate, so if it does break or leak, it won't get on your gear. And uh, it just comes up through the, um, the strap, a couple places for it to be held. Real nice and accessible, uh, no messing around. And these front pockets here, I usually hold maybe like lens cloths, other little things. Typically like to keep my compass in here. Um, there it is, it's a compass whistle magnifying glass and thermometer all in one. Uh, it's really great. Uh, I've used it all the time for the compass and uh, even if you get hurt, the whistle noise is gonna go farther than your voice. So it's always essential to kind of have a whistle in your bag. Uh, moving on this side, this is where the tripod would go, which is currently uh, holding the camera. But we have some robust straps here that uh, are never gonna break. And a couple other things, there's a big pocket on the top uh, in here, I like to maybe hold like granola bars, quick access things. Um, definitely my uh, head torch. I'll go over this a bit, but I like to put this in here for quick access. You always need a head torch. So yeah, just a quick little bag overview, but uh, it's my general day pack, 35 liter, holds all my stuff. First off, just open this compartment up, and yeah, everything's access accessible right through the front pouch here. Um, in this bag, I have my GoPro. Um, I also carry my audio recorder in here, uh, which I'm using now. Um, so yeah, I got the Zoom H1N recorder with the lapel mic. They have to have this little adapter, don't forget that. Yeah, it's really convenient, easy, and the audio quality is a lot better than the camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have a GoPro here for, um, nothing special here. I use it whenever I can't film with this. I'm taking a, you know, if I'm taking a picture or uh, I got set up on a composition. I'll film with this and it does the job. Yeah, I got a couple extra lapel uh, mic covers. If it's windy or um, you know, just a lot of ambient noise I wanna get rid of, cuts out most or if not all of it. Uh, I like to keep things separate so I have a lot of little pouches. Um, this one particularly holds GoPro mounts, little SD card adapters for the micro uh, SD cards. Um, yeah, just a little GoPro stuff. Uh, another little pouch. This one I hold all my cables in. I even have my battery charger, um, which is my RAV Power uh, dual battery charger. It's very slim, takes one quick little port, uh, very hassle free, and it's light. That's what I love about it. So I could charge two camera batteries at once, take it anywhere I need, and not worry about it. Um, <laughs> this little plug. Uh, if you don't have one, I would recommend getting one. It has just two USB ports, uh, foldable little uh, prongs here. Super light, can't forget it. Charge two things at once. Come on, super easy. I'm not gonna go through all this. It's just a bunch of mess. Um, I got the camera charger cord, my shutter release from Canon I got, from, uh, I got in here and a couple other cords, but it's all in one little pouch. Here is a bag that came with the low pro bag, a little pouch. I usually carry batteries in here, um, extra little double A, triple A's, obviously the camera batteries. And I keep these little, um, I think I got them from Think Tank, but they're little like gum straps. Yeah, I usually, hold, uh, I usually use this for cables. Um, 
they come in handy just for a bunch of other little things. Uh, it's always good to have a couple in your bag. I got about five. I think they come in like a 10 pack. And on cold days, uh, gloves, Valorette gloves, uh, they are the best. Everyone probably knows about them by now, but if you don't, if you don't know about them already, they have little finger slots that are magnetic, allow you to control and even touch uh, your camera without taking a whole glove off. Um, I've had them for a year or so now and they just, they, they're holding up really well and they have a little zipper for like a lens cloth, a little heating pad here and it came separate but I bought it. These are the glove liners. Um, <clears throat> I've only had to use these if the temperature was below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, other than that I think I might just need to get another pair of gloves. These are probably like a general use uh, type of glove. They have a bunch, but yeah, I got the liners and they are touchscreen accessible with the little rubber there. Uh, awesome. It's a great thing, great investment to get. Get some Valorette gloves, guys. We're rolling through this pretty quick. All right, and these next two things. Um, this one is my power bank by Anchor. Um, this thing is a brick. It charges my phone up to four times fully from dead. Um, I use it for my camera batteries, my GoPro. Uh, just a simple click of the button on the side, you can see the battery level. Two USB ports. You gotta have a power bank. I'm pretty sure everyone does at this point, but if you don't get one from Anchor, it's simple, light, and uh, it'll save you in a good pinch. Uh, next up, I got the B Way. It's the SD card holder. It's uh, water sealed, um, rugged. You can drop this thing, which I have a bunch. Uh, so, yeah, I just got a couple SD cards, uh, SanDisk um, adapter. And obviously my compact flash is on this side. Holds them, organizes, done, no messing around. Next we have our filters. Um, I've been using the Lee filter system and I've been kind of going away less and less from the graduated filters. I kind of been uh, exposure blending more, but I still use these uh, pretty often. I haven't gone away from them fully, but in here I have the uh, lens adapters. I have two of them. I have hard and soft graduated filters, and I also have a um, 10 stop and a 15 stop ND filter. And if I need, if I need to go like say, um, I need a 0.9 hard, uh, but I want this to cover the full screen like that, I'll just slide the one half down enough so I get a whole, it'd act like a ND, a solid ND, but um, yeah, that's a little trick I do. I don't know if anyone else does it, but. It gets the job done if needed. I just want to slow down my shutter a bit. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm kind of opting out of these a little bit more and more. I've just been exposure blending and uh, yeah, they're kind of going away. Next up I have the, next up I have the uh, Lee adapter uh, system. It's the 100 millimeter system where you can have two um, slots for uh, grad filters or ND filters and I have the polarizer on it. Um, this is a Heliopan polarizer. It's probably used about 70% of my shots. Um, this thing is awesome. It, it can do things to the image that Pose can never do, uh, like cut off glare, uh, wet rocks. It can bring a lot of detail in wet rocks. And um, yeah, if you don't have a polarizer, I would really recommend getting one. I love this thing. So like I said, I always carry my um, head torch here. It's from Black Diamond. Uh, this thing is a beast. I never had batteries die on it yet. Um, it has a red light. It dims the light as well in red and the bright light. It has a couple settings. Um, I would highly recommend getting this one compared to anything else. It just lasts long. It has a little battery life gauge. There's so much to this that I love. And it just, it's been a tank. It never died. It never messed up on me. So always have this for you know going out early sunrises or late sunsets after it gets dark you'll need something to light up your way um, so yeah the black diamond head torch is you need one just get one it's like 30 bucks this pouch uh, is mainly the reason why I got the bag um, it, it fits like a, a camera body with the lens attached and two other lenses um, it has a couple pockets that I just have stuff in we'll go over but yeah this thing you can take it out uh, put it in any other bag and you have your camera gear um, it's just that simple so you, you don't need a, a specific camera bag that has inserts or slots you could just put it your 
equipment in here, put it in a, a, a camping slash hiking bag that would never have any type of insert, throw it in there and you're good to go. If they could sell this thing separate, they would be fantastic. Yeah, first couple stretchy pockets. I always carry the uh, stopper exposure chart. I know you can have an app now, but it's always good to have a reliable paper chart. Inside, gotta have your blower. Everyone has one of these um, just to get the dust off your lens without scratching it or wiping it. And one of my favorite lenses is this 70 to 200 uh, F4 version. I opted to get the F4 for the um, weight reduction. And since I'm doing landscape mostly, I don't need the stabilization or the 2.8. And overall, the price, it's, it's so cheap. It's like 500 bucks, 400, something like that. You really can't go wrong with it. Super sharp. And I got some of my favorite images with this thing. Uh, next lens, I have the 24-70 uh, f2.8. It's really a go-to lens. I love it. I don't use it as much as I want to, but if I'm going out uh, for a day and I'm just having something on the sling, no backpack, this will be my go-to lens. It has a decently uh, wide focal length, decently telephoto, uh, get some okay compression with it. But man, is it sharp. I love this thing, um, and I, I just got to use it more. Within here, uh, I have these silicon packets uh, to soak up moisture, and I think everyone has these, but these are, these are like huge packets. I don't know, so I have one for each compartment. I have like three in here, uh, just to be safe about getting any moisture and condensation on my internal lens or my sensor. In these pouches, um, I usually carry um, two full-frame sensor cleaning swabs uh, by Vesco. Just if you're on a paid shoot or you're somewhere that you've traveled a far distance to get to and it's difficult. Yeah, these will come in handy. It'll save your shots or your video cleaning sensor dust. As well as that in the same pocket, I have uh, what you would typically think of as shower cap, but they're uh, just throw them over the camera to protect from uh, sand or rain when I'm sitting still. Uh, they come in handy. I have two if one breaks you know, or someone else needs one in the time being. But yeah, I always carry these and I have a bunch of them. I don't know, just I just started packing them up. Just have a bunch in stock. And I typically would carry my lens cloths in every pocket, but um, which I kind of do. I have a little, I have a couple in here because if I open this, obviously I'm getting my camera and this is going to be accessible. So I have lens cloths, a little cleaner bottle, uh, a little small one for, uh, you know, travel, uh, which is nice. I'll just refill it. And filming, I have the 16 to 35 f2.8. It's the L2 version. I haven't gotten the L3, but that thing is a workhorse. I love the 16 to 35. I'm going to say probably my favorite lens. I've gotten some of my top notch images with it. Um, I love how it distorts and uh, it's just, a really good lens and filming with it is the 5D Mark uh, IV. Um, that thing is a workhorse and I love the and I love the uh, weatherproofing on the camera. Everything's a solid, it's a tank. Um, but I'm very tempted to get Sony. That might be another story, but yeah, if Sony was weather sealed, come on. I probably would I would probably would switch. I'm going to quickly show you the setup because I have a really right stuff L bracket. Um, I want to show you, uh, I know a lot of people know about the L brackets, but uh, for those of you who don't, I want to introduce you to this really right stuff uh, L bracket. So you can flip from horizontal to vertical and not lose your composition. You don't have to tilt sideways on the tripod and recompose. It comes with a magnetic uh, Allen key for, uh, as a tool. It never gets uh, lost. It's always there with you and you don't need to carry anything in your bag for it. Um, so let me show you that with my GoPro real quick. This is the L bracket here. Uh, you can see with my Arca Swiss head that it fits perfectly with the Arca Swiss compatibility of the L bracket. I also have a little separate um, spirit level. I got it offline for maybe like 10 bucks and it fits right under the uh, ball head because this tripod did not have a uh, spirit level on the base so I could level it for panels. I'll, I'll get you another close up of that. Yeah, this L bracket's nice. Camera strap holder, uh, magnetics on the front, a little simple. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's what I would use for a day photography shoot or a little day trip. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions about the gear I used, I'd love to answer them. Just comment below uh, and follow me on Instagram. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. Click the little notification bell so you can know when I upload my next videos. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.